Hey everyone, thank you for trying out the OT Drill workouts. That's right, these workouts were designed for the outdoor traveler, the OT, right? So that is what these workouts are for. They are meant to be done inside or outside when you're out traveling. All you need is one thing, and that is a sandbag or something with weight. Now, I appreciate you checking out the sample workouts to see if this workout fits you. Many of the other workouts in our program, in the system, right, of the OT drill are very, uh, are formatted very similar to this one. If you like it, make sure you get your copy of the OT drill. Appreciate it, and let's get into this workout. Let's have some fun. So for this workout, you need one piece of equipment besides the manual, or this website in that case, right, is a sandbag. Now, I'm using a brute force sandbag. This isn't filled up to capacity by any means, but... It has a good chunk of weight in there, so we can show you this workout. Okay, but let's say you don't have a brute force sandbag or any sandbag, right? You can use something else. You could use another sandbag that works, right? Not like, not one that's just regular for, you know, holding water back or putting sand in your playground. No, no, no. Like a workout one that could sustain being dropped and all that. But let's say you don't have that. That is okay, especially for this test group, uh, uh, for the for this workout, right? So if you want, you could use a, a weight, just a regular dumbbell like these, right? I would not suggest a fancy one. Well, um, I got a power box here or um, the other you know, fancy ones where you can adjust the weights like that. Why? Because you're gonna be dropping them and you don't want to uh, hurt those at all, hurt any mechanisms. With these, I don't think it hurt them, but I just don't wanna bang them up because that's just how I work. So you could use those. But let's say you don't even have that. Maybe you have a backpack. How cool is that? Or maybe you don't so you want to drop weights. You can put the weights in a backpack. Maybe you have a medicine ball or two, right? Some people have these lying around. You can put that. Use this whole thing for the workout. Or put it in a backpack if you wanted handles, right? Let's say you're out camping doing this. You could use a backpack, throw some logs, some rocks in there. You're set to go. There's really no excuse, we'll just throw that over there, to not do this. It's one piece of equipment, something with weight that you can hold on to, and then these workouts. So I appreciate you checking it out. I'm sorry for the long talk here. Uh, so let's get into it. we got 10 minutes. Let's have some fun. So let me get it started here. We have four warm-ups, four workout moves, and then we repeat those workout moves. So get it going. First move is a run. Here we go. So you just run in place. We're warming up now. We're not getting crazy. Just a nice, easy run for 20 seconds. Okay? These warm-up rounds for our 10-minute workout here is just 20-second warm-ups, four of them, and we go. Next up is jumping jacks. All right, here we go, and jumping jacks for 20 seconds. If you can get your arms up there, awesome. If you can't, that's cool, All right? Do what you can, we're just warming up the body because we're gonna be working it. Don't want you to get hurt. That's no good. All right. Five more seconds, let me go into squats. Good old squats, just body weight, feet shoulder length apart, squat down, keeping that chest up. So nothing to it. So again, these workouts hopefully should be fun, and I'm looking forward to having you join us for this. All right, and the last up, arm circles. So put your arms out to the side, you're just making circles, you have 10, Seconds forward, 10 seconds backward. There we go. And backward. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna get into our moves. We have four moves. There we go. A little transition here. We have four moves. We have a squat, toss over your shoulder, 45 seconds, 15 second rest in between. That's how it goes. All right, let's have some fun. All right, we got the timer going. This is all transition. I had a little extra in there, so that's always nice. Okay, so we're just gonna take the bag, throw it over our shoulders, squat down, pick it up, toss over, make sure you keep your chest up. Here we go, 45 seconds. Take it, toss it over. Take it, grab it on the handles. Toss over your shoulder, alternate shoulders if you can. And try to keep your chest up as you squat down. Now, I like these brute force bags because they have great handles on them. Oh no, my screen's going blank on the timer. 
And what about if you don't have a timer at home? I screamed at Black, this is interesting. You have a watch. Maybe your watch is it. You can download an app. Maybe your app has it. Alright, so 45 seconds. We have to begin there pretty close. We have a 15 second transition. One more. I'm gonna call that 45. Let me hunch over here real quick. There we go, we're in the transition. Now we gotta push up, pull through. Hopefully that screen stays there. I might have to jump off every now and then. A little closer. Up to the side. So, bags off to one side, you're on the other. You do a push up. And then, opposite hand goes under. You pull the sandbagger or weight through. Push up. Over. If you can't do it on your toes, that's fine. You go down to your knees. That is okay. Otherwise, get up. Try not to kink your neck. Take breaks if you need. But keep going. Stop pushing yourself to be as good and as strong as you can. About 10 more seconds to go. You know, you do this 10-minute workout to just the description, or you can follow along here. 15-second transition. We have bicep curl to a shoulder press. This one gets a little funky on the press, but you'll get it. Just try it. See how it works, okay? Nothing that crazy. That handles. Okay, here we go. 45 seconds in. So up. That was more of a toss up than a curl. Shoulder press, kind of reverse hands, and then back down. And up. Just like that. Keep the elbows in. Concentrate on flexing the biceps. And you're going. You're getting the guns, man. Boom! And you gotta have fun. You're breathing heavy already. And I know about you. All right, next up, we have about 10 seconds left. Okay, we have a bridge pullover. This is a little funky. Kind of like this one, but fun. There we go. 15 seconds. Let me go over here quick. So, bridge pullover. You get to be on your back, you lucky folks. So, we get over here. You gotta be on your back, grab the handles, and then you gotta raise your butt up like that, okay? So you're on your shoulders, on your feet, and then you just bring these, your weight back, and then bring it up. Try to get it so it doesn't slip all over. Keeping your pelvis up and keeping your arms relatively straight. This move works your back, right? If you see guys or gals with those wings in the back, they call them, right? Your lats. That's what this works out. And it's great just for anything like you're pulling up, setting up your tents, hammocks, paddling. You use your lats. Alright. There we go. Transition. That is round one. Now we're going to do it again. We're skipping the warm-ups, but we're going into the move. So we have a squat and toss over. Let me refresh my screen here because the joys of it all. And here we go. Squat. Toss over your shoulder. This is like the best one yet. Squat. Throw. Boom. Loving this brute force bang. Check them out. All made in the USA, made in Colorado. Cool stuff. Nice squat though. Wide legs, you can keep your legs together if you want, that's fine. Just grab a handle, kind of mix it up a little bit based on what handles are up. That's all good. Ten more seconds. Boom! Alright, we got three, two, one. I'll do one more. 15 second transition. So now push up, pull throughs again. I'll go this way, mix it up a little bit. So your bag is off to one side, and you are right to the side. But here we go. You go down, do the push up. Opposite hand goes under your body, pulls it through. Push up, repeat. Push up, repeat. And we keep going. Got 24 seconds left. Heck yeah! Let's do this! 
Let's change our passions to the max by taking care of ourselves. That's what this workout is about. It's about being your, getting to be your best self, best physical self, and doing what you can so you can continue to chase your passions to the max. All right, two more moves, then we're done, okay? So we're almost there. Curls to shoulder press. All right, let me grab the handles. I'm gonna toss it up right off the mat. It's for a sec, here we go. I had to make a hole in my ceiling. Just so I do shoulder presses. It's a little short. Or I'm a little tall. Or maybe it's both. Now, if you want less of a challenge, use less weight, or maybe you can't. Do a little bit, right? If you need more, then use more. Be smart about it. Make sure whatever you are using is not hurting you, itself, or your floor, right? If you're doing this on wood floors with the dumbbell, I'd say that's a no, no, probably dent your floors. You don't wanna do that. That's no good. And done. Okay, last move, bridge pullovers. So make sure you got the right weights and doing it in the right place. You're outside of mother nature. It doesn't matter. All right, throw her on the ground. All right, here we go. Get your bridge, hips up, right? Hold this up. And then drop back, bring it forward. Now again, this bag that I'm using is maybe half filled right now with weight. So I can definitely go up more in this. And what's awesome about the sandbag style of this workout is that you can change weights really easily. This case is just a case with multiple sandbags in it. So let's say you need to take out weight. Awesome. You unzip, you take out one of the sandbags inside and you're set to have less weight. All right, that's all just one more. And don't drop it on your face. Set it back down here, on your stomach, come down. There we go. After that, just stretch it out real quick. Hop a little bit. Boom. That's it, folks. That's the 10 minute workout. Now, I appreciate you doing this sample workout of the OT drill, the outdoor traveler drill. If you like this workout and you had fun with it, the 10 minutes, go get OT drill. Go buy it now. Why? Because these workouts you could do when you're out on the road, you're camping, right? You're traveling. You just need a sandbag or any weight to help you do these workouts. That's it. Go get it. Improve yourself. Improve your life. Be happy. Be healthy. Be fit everywhere and anywhere you go with this awesome workout. I truly appreciate you watching this, trying the sample workout. If you'd like to see something else, make sure you drop me a comment or email me or anything like that, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And don't forget, go get your OT drill today. Go chase your passions to the max.